What is the correlation between immunizations and autism? There has been an incredible amount written on the correlation between immunizations and autism. A number of parent groups strongly feel that some immunizations may be responsible for autism cases. This strong feeling in parent activism has led repeatedly to the demand to research this connection, and the clinical research done suggests there is no connection between immunizations and autism. The medical community stands directly opposed to an established tie, and even the courts have become involved, issuing rulings in the 2010s that no connection exists. One of the strongest studies that suggested a connection between immunizations and autism was published in the respected medical journal, The Lancet in 1998. This article was later found to have data that was fabricated and inaccurate, and in 2010, The Lancet withdrew it. Its presence created a firestorm of concern, particularly among parents, and with rising rates of autism, many advocated foregoing vaccinations. Doctors who felt the risk of contracting serious illnesses was still much higher than risk of getting autism, did not support this choice. For a while, focus in parent advocacy groups was on the presence of a chemical in some vaccines called thimerosal. It was thought to elevate autism risk, as per the Lancet article and other sources. This matter has also been researched, and thimerosal has been removed from most vaccinations. Presently, by medical and judicial standards, this chemical is not responsible for autism cases, and especially the measles, mumps and rubella shot, measles, mumps, and rubella, which has been considered a likely cause of autism by parent advocacy groups, is not thought to have any relationship to the disease. The noted exception is that the first symptoms of autism may occur at roughly the same time the measles, mumps, and rubella is given, which is the case whether or not children actually receive the vaccine. Recent research on this disease suggests less of a connection between immunizations and autism, and more of a relationship to genetics. An extensive study invested in by the large organization Autism Speaks, evaluated over 2,000 children to determine whether there were genetic factors that predispose people toward autism, and it turns out there are. They are simply not single, but involve small defects or differences on many different genes. It's clear a single gene isn't responsible for the condition, but people might have a number of genes that more predict autism's occurrence. Even with all this evidence, a correlation between immunizations and autism can't be completely ruled out in all cases. There are certain factors that argue against it. Immunization levels have now dropped over the fear that autism is caused by vaccines, and yet, autism levels continue to rise. Autism occurs in boys with much greater frequency than in girls, but both genders are vaccinated equally. Legitimate science has failed to prove a correlation between immunizations and autism. Most evidence suggesting a connection is provided by medical laypeople and is unsupported by hard science. Virtually all legitimate medical organizations refute a connection and express deep concern about the potential dangers of avoiding vaccinations.